In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five reasons why California residents are looking to call Texas home, so stay tuned. My name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker right here in North Texas. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we do weekly videos talking all about living, working, and playing right here in North Texas, as well as we do some video walkthrough tours of some of the very best real estate listings in Texas. Today, I wanted to discuss why so many Californians are relocating to the Lone Star State. California has miles of beautiful beaches, rolling hills, plenty of sunshine year round. And even with all that, many people in California are still relocating to other parts of the country. And a large majority of them are coming to the Lone Star State right here in Texas. And one of the main reasons being is the extravagant cost of living to live in California and not to mention real estate prices in California are outrageous, especially when you compare them to a place like Texas. This is why Texas has become known as the fastest growing state in the country. So many people are relocating to Texas from not only California, but other parts of the country as well. And that's why we are growing at such a rapid rate. Many people are moving because of the challenges in California, but also the great benefits they'll receive once they relocate right here to Texas. And today we're going to cover the top five benefits of Californians relocating to Texas, starting with number one, and that's that personal and corporate income tax or absent in Texas. What that means is you're able to keep more of the money that you earn. One of the greatest benefits for people who move to Texas is that they'll keep a huge part of their income in their own pockets instead of giving it back to the state. Number two is a lower cost of living. There is a significant difference in the cost of living between California and Texas, starting with the price of real estate. Housing costs in Texas are 50% less than in California, while a family with kids may save over 60%. There is also an 18% difference in food, 8% less expensive in health insurance, and 14% lower spending on entertainment. In all areas of California was more expensive than Texas, the average adult could expect to eat with about $3,500 a year in California versus $2,900 in Texas. However, for me, unfortunately, as most of you who watch my videos know, I don't cook very often. So that's, it's gonna be high for me regardless of where I live. So I can say this though, when we do visit California, which is several times a year, the same tacos that I get here at Mi Cocina seem to be quite a bit more when I go to California, not to mention that I feel like I have to pay for parking at every restaurant as well. Raising one child for a year costs more than $32,000 in California compared to about $25,000 in Texas. On average, Texas also has less expensive medical care than California. Number three is a faster growing economy. I feel like every day that I wake up, there's a new corporation, a new business relocating to the Lone Star State, whether it's in North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, or if it's a company moving to Houston, Austin. If you're looking for a job or you're looking to take your career to the next level, you will be able to do so right here in Texas. We're home to major Fortune 500 companies and the list keeps getting longer and longer as more businesses see the benefit of relocating their headquarters right here to the Lone Star State. Austin takes the 10th place on the Forbes list of the top 10 growing economies. 
Today, the state is also regarded to take the leading position in the economic sphere as numerous reputable companies like Google and Apple have moved to Texas. Today, the Texas economy is the second largest in the U.S. and it could take the 10th place in the world, which is absolutely amazing. It's a great time to live in Texas. And number four is Southern hospitality. The majority of people in Texas are nice. You're able to talk to them. You're able to have friends, whether it's at your church or your kids' activities. For the most part, <laughs> you know, there's those few that aren't as friendly, but pretty much every neighborhood that I've lived in, the neighbors have been great. You know, we're all friendly. If you're lost, you need some directions. There's always a friendly Texan nearby who will be happy to assist you. We travel a lot, my boys and I, and depending on where we're at, people aren't trying to talk to us and we're bothering them and they're, they don't wanna be bothered. One thing I do love about Texas is that Southern hospitality, you know, they're gonna be kind, they're gonna be nice to you. If you're part of a league or part of a team, and you're not able to take your kids, just like with me, uh, we have a basketball organization. We have probably over 100 kids that play for us. And on the group chats, anytime somebody can't make the game because a parent has to work late or a parent is sick, there's four or five other parents jumping in saying, hey, let me know, I'll be happy to pick them up, I'll be happy to drop her off which is great. You wanna be around kind and friendly people that you can depend on and that you can trust. So living in a state where people are friendly and kind is a great advantage as well. Number five is entertainment. I feel like people sleep on Texas when it comes to entertainment. I'm the first one to admit it. I always say that Texas is flat and all you see is a bunch of dirt which is true for the most part. However, there are a lot of entertainment options in the Lone Star State. You can go to the Riverwalk or the Alamo in San Antonio. You can go to the Space Center in Houston. Uh, you can go river rafting. You can go to the lake and go jet skiing, sea doing, whatever the case is. You can go to an amusement park. You can go camping. There are so many things to do in Texas. If you live in a major city, there's always something to do during a week or on the weekend. You don't have to go anywhere to have some entertainment value. Uh, for instance, we live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in North Texas. My boys and I have pretty much done every amusement, every museum, which we have some of the best museums in the country in the state of Texas. We pretty much covered everything in our city. However, we don't have to go far. We can get in the car, drive four hours to Houston. We can drive three hours to Austin, four hours to San Antonio. We don't even have to get on a plane. And there's a lot of other activities for us to do right here in Texas. However, we do like to go to California and we do several times a year. We love the beach, especially my youngest, Nathan. He loves to get in the water and run up and down the beach. He literally could stay there all day if I let him. Saying that, we have our own big body of water and ocean in Galveston. It's not the same. It's not the same. I have to say, <laughs> I have to admit it. It's definitely not a California beach. However, we have that as well. So if you're looking for entertainment for you and your family, there's plenty to do each and every day right here in Texas. Um, I hope you received some value from this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And if there's anything we can assist you with in regards to your relocation or real estate needs, don't hesitate to give us a call. We'd be happy to assist you with your next real estate transaction. We get calls on a weekly basis from people from California and from other parts of the country relocating, and we absolutely love it. As always, we will see you on the next video.